There's no shortage of orange in Amsterdam right now, and no shortage of royal-themed paraphernalia. People are gearing up for the big day on April 30th, when Queen Beatrix passes on the crown to her son, Willem Alexander. Student Bram Hausterman just can't wait, and he'll certainly be dressing up for the occasion. I'm not dressed up at all like this. I, of course, wear something orange. I have an orange polo. I have some orange guirlandes. I have orange glasses. I always take them with me. So it's important for me. One thing he doesn't have yet is a suitable T-shirt. There's going to be a new king this year after all. Yes, for him being more like a king. It's a very royal hairdress, as we know it, the Dutch people. So I guess this will suit him well. I think I will, uh, yeah, just wear it. Orange is everywhere, even in food and drink. The incoming king is a big fan of beer. One brewer decided to honor him with a specially created Majesty Pilsner. Of course, we hope the king will try it. And that he'll like it. It's an organic pilsner, made from organic products. We're very proud of its great taste. Then there's one of the country's biggest exports, Gouda cheese. Gerard Waltz is a cheesemaker and as a good patriot concocted his very own royal version for the occasion. It's become a bestseller. This is the, the yellow cheese, it's handmade it from the farm. And then we thought, now we make it orange with red, white, blue, our flag, our queen is on it. And with the king, Alexander is coming. I hope he comes to taste it. <laughs> Meanwhile, Brahms' outfit is gradually taking shape. It's not easy given the selection of items available. Yeah, that's kind of a classic alcohol, especially this one, this Guirlande. We all like this one. It's a little bit hot since it's the end of April, not uh, very hot already in the Netherlands. And then I have this very classical cowboy hat. It's not very Dutch, of course, but it's a little bit of a classy item with some bling bling on top, also very popular, and this wig. The good thing is it has some curly hair, like many Dutchies have. The royal-themed sector is booming adding an estimated 3 million euros a day to retailers turnover. The royal handover, which coincides with the Queen's Day public holiday, means huge business for Amsterdam. This is a unique opportunity, this royal state occasion, 33 years for the last time and now again. So it's a very, it's a very good marketing opportunity for the city. You can't pay that publicity, that's wonderful. But it's not just about being seen, but seeing as well. Brahm already has plans for watching the coronation. We have to be there uh, very early, so we have to get up early. And afterwards we just go and enjoy the city, go to several squ uh, squares. It's not just that we gather at one place, you know, we just walk around a little. There are many venues open, many cool stages, nice performances where we, where we go to. All Brahm needs now is that final touch, some face paint. And on the big day, he won't be the only one seeing the world through orange-colored glasses.